Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. Have you ever tried to create field parameters and use them within the custom data labels and ended up displaying the field parameter name instead of the values, something like you see here on the screen. If I choose percentage, I'm displaying the percentage which is the field parameter name. If I choose PY sales here, I'm displaying the parameter name again. I'm not displaying the actual values which need to be displayed on this chart. If you've come across this issue, I guess you have landed on the right video which will help you understand how to fix this. So let's get started with this tutorial. So before I go to the modeling tab and create a new parameter, let me show you the measures that I have in my Power BI file here. I have the selected year sales, which is basically the sum of sales and this will get filtered based on the year that I select in my slicer here. I have the previous year sales. The previous year sales get calculated based on the selected year sales using the second argument within the calculate function, which is the same period last year, which uses to calculate the previous year sales. And then I also have another measure here, which is basically calculating the percentage of the previous year sales and the selected year sales. So this is what I have in my model here. So let's quickly go to the modeling tab now and let's create a new parameter. I'm going to select fields here and let's give it a name to this particular parameter. I'm going to call this as custom data label. And now I'm going to add all the fields that I want in my field parameter, which is the previous year sales. I want to display the percentage and I also would like to display the selected year sales. And then I'm going to click on create a new slicer will get added to my report here. Let me quickly format painter here to the new slicer that we've added here. And then let's also get rid of the slicer header because I don't want to display the slicer header here. And now when I choose the previous year sales, I would like to display previous year sales. Likewise, when I click on percentage I would like to display the percentage when compared to the previous year and then my selected year sales so now basically the total sales is being displayed for the selected year if I choose a different year I have different sales numbers that is being displayed but now I would like to display the custom label based on the field parameter that I choose from this particular slicer let's make one more change to our slicer settings here let's go to the selection and let's turn on single select so that we always have one of the field selected over here so let's go back into the format section of this visual here under data labels I have my label location series that I have added here this is where I will be adding the data label and when I go to the value section here I will now be able to change the parameter that we added so the custom data label this is the parameter that we added I'm going to choose the custom data label here and now when I do that I am displaying the parameter name instead of the values like we discussed earlier so now when I select percentage I'm displaying percentage when I select selected year sales I'm displaying the selected year sales which means that by default the parameter is not working with this visual when we use the custom data labels so we will now have to come up with a workaround to display the actual values whenever we select a particular field parameter here so let's see how we can do that so let's go to the custom data label here I'm going to create a new measure here I'm going to call this as label switch is equals to we will have to make use of the switch statement to return the values based on the selection that we make from this particular slicer so our switch statement here I'm going to use the selected value function within the switch statement and the selection value here is going to be the custom data label fields custom data label order is selected here I don't want the custom data label order but I would like to select the custom data label fields I'm going to close the bracket here followed by a comma and then and then say name of the first value that we have here which is PY sales so I'm going to type in PY sales I'm going to close the bracket here for name of followed by a comma then it should return the PY sales followed by a comma here let's go to the next line if the value of the field parameter here is percentage then I would like to return percentage here let's close the bracket here I missed closing the bracket here for name of followed by a comma and then the last one here name of selected year sales let's close the bracket here followed by a comma then return selected year sales I'm going to close the bracket here and confirm 
and now we have the switch statement ready for us to work so let's go back to our visual now now let's go under the data labels here let's go to the value and get rid of the first labels that we have here instead i'm going to choose the switch statement that we just created which is label switch so let's choose this now and now we can see that we are already displaying the numbers here when i choose percentage here i now have the percentage being displayed and when i choose previous year sales i now have the previous year sales being displayed so if i choose a different year you will see that we're now displaying the percentage here and also i'm not sure if you notice that i have created the overlapping chart here the border the black border bar that you see here is actually the previous year sales and the green bar that you see here is the selected year sales so when i look at the previous year sales here and the current year sales or the selected year sales i can see that in the year 2023 our sales were much lower and that were in negative 44.84 percent when i choose the selected year sales that's when you will actually be able to see the sales Sales amount for the selected year and when I choose previous year sales you'll be able to now see the sales which happened in the year 2022 so this is how you'll be able to create custom labels using the field parameters so that's it guys in this particular tutorial I hope you found this tutorial helpful you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials